Hi everyone. Here at GSkinner, we've created a variety of Flutter apps that compiled to and ran on multiple platforms. But for this project, we wanted to go beyond that and build something that purposefully considered the norms, user expectations, input devices, and idioms for each platform to create an app that truly felt at home on every device. We also wanted to leverage the unique strengths of each platform to power a creative workflow. After some brainstorming, we decided to build a scrapbooking app called Flutterfolio. Let's take a closer look at how the app works on different devices. Mobile devices are great because they're portable, follow us everywhere, and they usually have a camera built in. Given that, we focus the small screen experience around capturing content. Let's say you're on a walk and you bumped into Tim and his rabbit Carl. You could use the mobile friendly UI to quickly navigate to an existing scrapbook and reminisce about shared experiences or navigate to your furry friends folio, and snap a few pictures of Carl to add in later. Of course, larger screens provide a lot more space and improve precision, which makes them ideal for creative work, like editing a scrapbook. So when you get back from your walk, super excited to add in your new photos of Carl, you can fire up the app, maximize it via the native controls and the custom title bar, and use your scroll wheel or arrow keys to navigate to a scrapbook you're looking for. While editing, you can use desktop-specific idioms like multi-select, native menus, keyboard shortcuts, context menus, and scroll wheel zoom. But of course, not all large screens are the same. When working on a touch device, the UI adapts in a variety of ways, such as providing larger hit areas and exposing functionality through contextual buttons instead of right-click menus. Last but not least, we wanted to target the web. These days, browsers are capable of almost everything you can do in a native app, so the full app runs there as well. But the web is unique in the ease with which content can be shared. We leverage that strength to let you share a read-only version of your scrapbook. For example, to share your amazing new page with Tim and Carl, so they can follow along in real time as you make new updates. This URL is actually live right now if you want to go check out Carl. Of course, we barely skimmed the surface today, so I'd like to invite you to visit flutter.gskinner.com where you'll find more info, source code, and links to the app. We also learned a ton building this, and we're excited to share that knowledge on our blog and via Twitter. Ultimately, we were able to build an app that runs great and feels at home on three form factors, five OSs, and the web while reusing over 95% of our code. We built Flutterfolio with best practices in mind. You can check out the source code to start making your apps platform adaptive today.